First quarter action here at Patriots Field, and on third down, watch Muhammad Baltero slice in and drop Jimmy Fluke for the loss of three yards, forcing a Lenape Valley punt. And on the punt, watch Ben Kramer field it at the 10, and then take off almost untouched as he sprints 90 yards for the touchdown, and after the PAT, Newton has a 7-0 lead midway through the first quarter. What a run by Kramer. The Braves are back on offense and watch quarterback Nick Grant hit Ben Kramer in the flat to watch him do the rest as he stays on his feet and picks up 60 yards before being knocked down at the Lenby Valley 20. He can do it all, folks, as Newton has a 7-0 lead after one quarter of play. We move to second quarter action and it's Kramer again. He takes the pitch. He gets the good block from Garrett Richards before he's dragged down at the Lenape 2. And the senior star caps the drive here as he goes right up the middle for the two-yard score. And Newton has a surprising 13-0 lead on the road at the half. Okay, Lenape Valley starts to put together a drive here in the third quarter. Don LaBelle hits the hole and he sprints forward for a 15-yard gain to the 48. Then it's LaBelle again, watch him dart 19 yards before being dragged down by Adrian Rodriguez at the Newton nine yard line and Lenape set up. The Pats cap the drive here, watch quarterback Ryland Pangborn flick it to Dan Majardo in the back corner of the end zone for the four yard touchdown and Lenape Valley now trails 13-7. Newton looks to answer and watch Nick Grant scramble around then pull up and find Stephen Pappas who holds on after the big hit by Dom LaBelle for 13 yards but Newton would be forced to punt. Lenape Valley goes back to the air and it's Ryland Pangorn to Freddie Sharnikow who tiptoes the sideline for the first down and 21 yards to the Newton 41. Okay, huge player right here, folks. Watch Nick Grant wait. He reads the route, he picks it off, and he takes it 60 yards to pay dirt for his second defensive touchdown in two games to give Newton a 21-7 lead after the two-point conversion. Big play right there with 32 seconds left in the first half. And it stays that way, 21-7. Watch Casey Thomas with the pick, and the Braves have a stunning 14-point lead. Third quarter action, and Newton has the ball, but the Braves fumble as Hayden Samalian recovers for the Lenape Valley at the Newton 22. Then Dave Delosantro cashes in the miscue here for the Pats as he rumbles in from four yards out, and Lenape Valley trails 21-14 with eight minutes left in the third quarter. Okay, fourth quarter action, and Lenape Valley's looking to tie this game or win it for the typical Lenape drive. Watch Ryland Pangborn with the three-step drop, and he hits Freddie Sharnikow, who gets out of bounds to stop the clock at the Newton 37. Okay, Newton needs a big stop. Ben Kramer's on the sidelines. He was injured. This is the final play of the game, folks. At the 11-yard line, watch quarterback Ryland Pangborn roll out for Lenape Valley, but Casey Thomas and Newton makes the big breakup in the end zone. And the Braves shock Lenape Valley 21-14 for just their fifth win over the Pats in school history and first since 2000 as they move to 3-3 as Lenape Valley falls to 4-2 as James Green gets the post-game reaction. I'm very pleased with our performance tonight and it's been a long time and I'm very proud of our team. It's a great feeling. It's been 13 years since we last won this, I think back in 2000. It's the last time we made state playoffs too. And there's no other feeling than that, and it's it's just a great feeling. Defense first. Defense wins uh, championships, right? Um, offense, we did well, but but uh, defense, it's st we stopped them and we uh, we got the momentum from there. It's been 12 years. 2000 was the last time we beat Lenape, um, and that was kind of the theme. The last two weeks, we just uh, you know we, we just said enough is enough. It's time to time to go out and, and get it done. So. Um, just a huge win for us. He came up with the big pass break up there in the final play of the game. Take me through that play. Yes, sir. We were on uh, one. We were on uh, man coverage, and uh, I was on 85. He came up, did a flag to the uh, corner of the end zone, and I just hopped it and dove in front. <laughs> did what I could. Newton cannot afford to rest on their laurels. They're now three and three, and they have a tough matchup coming up next week when they take on Dover. We come ready to work next week, and we have to work hard to make states. We are, uh, we got to put in the rear mirror, like you said, we enjoy it this weekend, enjoy it, but come Monday, we have Dover. Our focus is Dover. Enjoy it right now, it's a great feeling, it's been a while since we beat them and it just shows we're a good football team. One game at a time, you know, um, Dover, they're going to be a tough opponent just like this was. Uh, we just got to get right back to work on practice on Monday and just go from there. I tell you right now, these kids will not lose focus. When we meet on Monday, they will be totally committed to what we're doing that week. Uh, I won't even have to say anything to them. 